So someone on YouTube asked to see my gaming setup, and so here it is. This is basically how I play retro slash non-HD video games. When I play HD video games, I'll just play them on the LCD TV downstairs. So for me, a CRT is very important because on a lot of LCD TVs, in my opinion, non-HD video games, they just look absolutely terrible. Um, sometimes you can get things like motion blur and trails and whatever and I can't stand that kind of thing. I'm lucky actually that, that the LCD TV downstairs isn't too bad for non-HD video games. It's quite old but when it was bought I think it was a high-end one. It was uh, really expensive. But still, you know, the best picture quality that you're going to get is going to be on a CRT. So for me having a CRT is really important. And later on in the video I will show my other CRTs. So this TV is a 21 inch Sony Trinitron. I think it was made either in the late 90s or early 2000s and I'll switch it on so as you can see I've got Hexen running on the N64 the N64 isn't really the best console to demonstrate the picture quality on a CRT because uh, a lot of the games on the N64 they do look kinda blurry and, and fuzzy a little bit and I do still have a VCR as well, just for that extra old schoolness. So there you can see the N64 with hex unplugged into it. And yeah, I think the VCR was made either in the late 90s or early 2000s. And it still actually looks like brand new. So, yeah, I hardly ever use the VCR because if I want to watch something, I'll just watch it on DVD. But it's still nice having a VCR because they're kind of like a novelty now. And they are nostalgic for me as well because it's what I used and what everyone else used while I was growing up. There was no such thing as DVD players. And some films and TV shows have only been released on VHS. So it's nice knowing that if I ever did want to watch a VHS tape, I can do. So the TV unit itself I'm really happy with. I like the way it looks. I like the fact that it's got shelves so any games that I'm currently playing, I can have them on the shelves. And the gap in between the glass doors is just wide enough for a controller wire to go through so I can have the doors closed while I'm playing video games. And yeah, so basically I'll just sit on the carpet or sometimes on a cushion in front of the TV while I'm playing video games. And I've actually just noticed on camera now the, the, uh, the picture on the TV it looks really faded and washed out. That's just how the camera is making it look. It doesn't actually look like that in real life. And of course the flickering, that's just because of the camera as well. So, um, yeah, I'll go into the other room and I'll show you my other CRTs. So, in this cupboard is where I keep my other CRTs. I've got three of them. Um, unfortunately, though, two of these CRTs don't work perfectly. So, uh, first up is the 14 inch Matsua. This does work perfectly. Um, I bought it about six years ago from a charity shop for just £5, and it's a really nice TV. Um, these TVs also sometimes have Grundig written on them instead of uh, Matsua. Not really sure why. I think Matsua is a, uh, a Dixon's brand. And then over here we have another Sony Trinitron 21 inch. Now unfortunately the picture on this is a little bit squished that way. Not really sure if that's something I'll be able to sort out in the service menu or not. And sometimes it does make a high pitched sound. And then in this box is a, a very old TV. So I'll take it out of the box so you can get a better look at it. So this is a, uh, a 13 and a half inch Sanyo. Um, this came out in 1983. And this is the main TV that I played video games on throughout my childhood in the 80s. Um, I had an Atari 800XL hooked up to it. Sometimes I had an Acorn Electron hooked up to it as well. And in fact, the first ever video game that I played in my life was actually on this TV. It was a snapper on the Acorn Electron. Christmas Day, uh, I think it was 1983. So unfortunately, this TV isn't working perfectly either. The, uh, the picture on the screen is slightly tilted or slanted. And uh, the top of it, it's, well, all around the TV, it's really yellowed. So one day I'm actually going to try and fix these two TVs. I'm aware of the fact that, you know, TVs can, CRTs, they can hold like really dangerous chargers. Several hours after you've unplugged them, I think even several days or even several weeks after you've unplugged them. So I'm going to do a lot of research 
before I do anything with them and I'm gonna, obviously going to be really careful. So I may actually just make a separate video on this TV and uh, when I do attempt to fix these TVs I will probably make videos of that and uh, yeah that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.